Hello. In this video, you're going to learn one of the most important staining techniques in microbiology. This is the mainstay of medical bacteriology. This is the Gram stain. It divides bacteria into two groups, Gram-positive bacteria that stain purple and Gram-negative bacteria that stain pink. The basis of this stain is the cell wall of the bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria have got one membrane and a very large cell wall made of peptidoglycan. Gram-negative bacteria, on the other hand, have got a very thin layer of peptidoglycan and they've got two membranes, an outer membrane and an inner membrane with a peptidoglycan in between. Both Gram-positive and Gram-negative bacteria are stained with the crystal violet iodine stain. However, it's believed that with the gram-positive bacteria, this thick wall of peptidoglycan shrinks with the alcohol as it becomes dehydrated. This then traps the crystal violet iodine stain and the bacteria remain purple. With gram-negative bacteria, this doesn't happen. The crystal violet iodine is removed with the alcohol de-stain and these bacteria are then counter-stained with a carbofusion and show a pink-red colour stain. We will show you staining from two different cultures of bacteria, either from a liquid bacterial culture or from the bacteria growing on a plate, an agar plate. The first thing you need to do is light your bunsen. So turn on the gas tap. Light your Bunsen with the air hole closed and use a lighter to light the flame. Once you've lit the flame, open the air hole so you get a nice cone of blue gas showing from your Bunsen burner. If you need to stop using your Bunsen at any time, close the air hole and leave it on a cold yellow flame. First flame your loop. Put your loop into the cold part of the flame, draw it up to the cone of the flame, make sure it glows red hot, it's now ready for use. But remember not to leave it on the bench. Using a sterile loop, take an isolated colony from your plate. Emulsify your bacterial colony into the drop of water, being careful to spread it out quite thinly you should still be able to see an opaque film of bacteria. When you've finished, flame your loop. Sterilise your loop as before till it's glowing red hot. Allow your loop to cool in the air. Using your little finger, remove the cap from the test tube. Flame the neck of the test tube. Put your cooled loop into the broth and take a loop full of sample. Flame the neck of the test tube again, replace the cap, put your drop onto a slide. Repeat this process, flame your loop, flame the neck of the test tube, take your loop full of broth, flame the neck, put your drop onto the slide and finish by flaming your loop. Allow your slide to dry naturally in the air. We now need to heat fix our air dried slide. Take your slide and pass it three times quickly through the Bunsen flame. Be careful not to burn your fingers. The, the slide should not be overheated. It's now ready for gram staining. We're now going to gram stain your heat fix slide. Place the slide on the staining rack over the sink. Cover the smear with crystal violet, taking care not to get stain all over the slide. Leave this in place for one minute. Tip away the crystal violet from the stain and wash the precipitate away with Gram's iodine. Cover the smear with Gram's iodine and leave for a further one minute. Pour off the grams iodine and use alcohol to decolorize. Tip some alcohol onto the slide and leave for five seconds. 
tip the alcohol off and continue to wash with alcohol until the washings are pale violet. Once you've done this, wash immediately with water. Now counter stain your smear with saffronin and wait for 30 seconds. Now rinse away the saffronin with water, dry your slide and it's ready to look at under the microscope. We're now going to look at our prepared slide under the microscope. This involves the use of the oil immersion lens. First of all though, we place it under the times 10 objective so we can view the smear under low magnification. We now place a drop of immersion oil onto the stained area of the slide just above the condenser. Then pass the oil immersion objective into the oil. Now look down the microscope and using the fine focus adjustment, adjust up and down to get your slide clearly into focus. Here we can see a gram stain of bacillus. Note the long positive rods and the spores that are present within the bacterial cells. The spores are the unstained areas. Only the vegetative part of the cell will take up the stain. Here we can see a slide of Neisseria. This is a gram negative diplococcus. It is an important medical bacteria. Now we can see a slide of E. coli. These are short gram-negative rods. This is a slide of Staphylococcus aureus. It shows grape-like clusters of gram-positive cocci. Here we can see a slide of Streptococcus. This is a gram-positive coccus. Note the long chains of bacteria that are characteristic of this type of bacteria. 